what's up? Records from the phone in the yard. James Bagwell lives down in Gary. T Bag's insurance policy? Yeah. My guy's gonna lock him up in a moving van for a couple of days until we're in the clear. Moving van? Yeah. Don't worry. He can breathe and all. We do it all the time. What about T Bag? He's no longer a threat. Trust me. James Bagwell, got a delivery for you. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You all right? Yeah. Ma'am? Yes. Can I speak with you, please? Of course. You stay here, okay? Is it going to be okay? We don't know yet. He's lost a lot of blood. I was going to call the police, but I wanted to speak with you first. His wound is obviously the product of a gunshot. You need to be honest with me. What was he doing when he got shot? He was in the garage underneath his car. He's in surgery right now. The blood loss has caused his muscle tissue to suffer from a lack of oxygen. He's also sustained a fair amount of damage to his shoulder, and with a bullet, there's always an increased risk of infection, so he's going to have to be admitted. Is there anyone you should call? Any family? No. It's just me. All right, well, I'll let you know as soon as he's in recovery. Thank you. Yeah. Are you there yet? Almost. You remember, be patient, follow his lead. We want the trifecta today. Yeah, I'm on it. It's me. Yeah, I got bad news. Yeah, like what? The job you ordered went bad. The guy was paranoid, he had a gun. One thing led to another. What, he's dead? Yeah, and unfortunately, there's a kid there. Hey, what, are you, what are you talking about? You killed a kid? It was unintentional. It's a kid, man. I know, I'm sorry. SOB, use him as a shield. A boy or a gun? I don't know, boy. How? Four, maybe five. 